Hey everybody, it's Randy with Carchaeology, and I wanted to walk you around the latest restoration to come out of the lab. So this beauty here is a Myers Manx Resorter. Now, not a whole lot of people know about the Resorter because it was a very low production car. In fact, it's thought that there were about 75 of these cars built by BF Myers and Company and that they were sold to resorts around the world. So the story is that 25 of them went to Puerto Rico, 25 to Acapulco, and I think 25 to Hawaii. Um, and then it is thought that some of these were sold uh, here in the U.S as well um the exact numbers of everything were never really documented because bruce wasn't the sort of guy to do that plus this was sort of an outsourced item this was something that was built by bf myers um, in their workshop uh, but it was sold by another firm uh, to these resorts and so bruce was contracted to build the bodies for these folks which he did uh, he did number these cars uh, there are bf myers tags on them as you can see right there and if you look at the numbers on this, you can see R0011, that is resorter number 11 out of the short production run of 75. And while we're here looking at the tag, you can also see the last numbers there, 13S. That's the color code for tangerine orange, which is the color that this car was originally and still is today. So this particular example has spent most of its life, as we understand it, here in Southern California, or at least in the West. I think it spent some time in Arizona as well. Uh, some of the past owners of it uh, used it in Manx Club events. In fact, in fact, there's footage of this particular car up in Big Bear at the Manx Club event when uh, it was filmed on TV. Uh, for California's gold with uh, Huell Hauser. And here's a little still of him with the car at that time. Uh, it also was used at some point during his life, uh, its life, as a hot air balloon chase vehicle. So if you look at the gear shift knob here, you can see a little hot air balloon on there. That's the original shift knob that came with the car, uh, as well as this cool wood steering wheel here, uh, superior brand with the stainless spokes. Uh, that's now been restored and put back. Uh, but back to the balloon history, we also kept this balloon chase vehicle sticker on the roll bar. And I've not been able to find any footage of it being used as a hot air chase vehicle, but, uh, but it is kind of a cool little story. I guess there's some interesting past ownership history as well, including some past porn star that had the car. In any case, uh, the, the goal with it was to restore it back to original, make it as stock and simple as possible, which is the way that Bruce liked to build these cars. Uh, we went with period style tires on it. This is a Mickey Thompson mini mag tire in the front and a Mickey Thompson Baja Pro tire in the back. Now these are as close as I've been able to find as a good period tire for what was used on the Manx cars. Went with uh, white steel wheels, a uh, little bit wider in the front and much wider in the back. Uh, this car has been restored top to bottom. The, the suspension is super clean. The chassis as well. It does retain the original Dietz 820 headlights. Uh, it's got the Myers Manx badge on the front. Uh, this cool flip top gas uh, filler right there is another nice piece. This is all fresh gel coat on this, done in the original color, uh, and it came out absolutely spectacular. Uh, the roof is a resorter only item, as is the windshield and the roll bar. Uh, and this is a reproduction roof that was done by somebody up in the Pacific Northwest. Um, it came to us in raw fiberglass and just plain white gel coat. We painted that bright white both inside and out and fitted it to the car. Uh, everything is really super tidy on this particular machine. Now, uh, more history on the car. We got this one from a uh, Orange County based uh, gentleman the uh, he's a member of the manx club i've dealt with him before on a couple of other buggies and when we sold the red resorter that we had 
uh, I ended up contacting him to see how he was coming with the restoration on this car and he had kind of hit a stale spot with it and was willing to let it go and let us finish it off. So we struck a deal, brought it back here to the lab uh, along with the help of uh, my mechanic buddy, uh, Sebastian. We did a bunch of work to it, ended up replacing the floor pans with brand new pans underneath, uh, detailed everything underneath the car. I uh, installed the interior, got the wiring all done, so on and so forth, and the car is now fully operational and ready to play. Uh, this is a myers Manx Sidewinder exhaust on the car. Uh, that's a design that Bruce came up with um, back in the day that uh, is kind of a traditional choice for doing a stock style buggy. Uh, this is a swing axle um, a rear suspension on this particular car and a king and link pin uh, front suspension. Uh, very traditional early style Manx stuff. We believe this car was built in uh, 69 or 70 uh, and that it's always been together and just kind of in use. It did spend some time sitting obviously and during the restoration uh, of course that took a little while uh, over a number of years but now she's done and she's beautiful and I get to play with her. Uh, the future of this car is a little unknown at the moment so uh, now that it's done I want to run it in. I want to work out some of the little bugs and details with it. Uh, I'd love to bring it out to a couple of events and share it with some other Manx folks. Uh, teach the world what the Myers Manx Resorter is all about and uh, and just kind of show it off a bit. But once I'm done with that, well, it's going to be time to find it a home. We're going to try to find a uh, some sort of collection somewhere that would love to have one of the rarest Myers cars in it. I think this one is probably one of the best that's out there as far as its condition and its history. And certainly its color is just spectacular. Um, so it will be put up for sale. We haven't really figured out a price yet or exactly where we're going to post it. Um, but if there's somebody out there that's super interested in a rare Myers Manx Resorter, this might be one for you. Oh, here's another quick note too. This car has been signed by Bruce Myers. Uh, the dashboard here was signed um, not long before his passing now, a year ago. Uh, and so it's one of the last cars that he actually penned. Um, and so that's kind of a another neat little detail that, well, unfortunately cannot be replicated. In any case, Myers Banks Resorter number 11, tangerine orange, restoration done. This one has been dug up, it's been driven, it's been completely restored and saved. And I look forward to seeing where it goes from here. In any case, I hope you enjoyed the little walk around of the Myers Banks Resorter. If you've ever seen a buggy like this or come across one like it, please let me know. This is a rarity. There's uh, less than 35 of these cars known out of the 75 that were built. Um, and well, okay, my opinion might be a little bit biased, but I think this is the prettiest one I've ever seen. Anyway, have a good one, everybody. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.